It's time, y'all. Y'all have been asking for this, and I can finally shoot this video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Nutramil Artiste Mixer. Does it pass the grains and grit test? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Grains and Grit. My name is Felicia, and on this channel, you know what we do? Talk all things real whole grains from a biblical, biblical perspective and more. So that's your jam. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, click the bell icon to be notified of future videos as well. So y'all, I'm here to introduce y'all officially to Miss Annie. If you follow me on Instagram, if you hear in my newsletter, things like that, you might have heard me talk about Miss Annie and here she is. Yes, if you're new here, I do name my grain mills and my mixers and appliances and things like that. Do not judge. They are my maidens and they deserve names. So in this video, like I said, we're going to be doing a full review of the Nutramil Artiste. I've actually had this mixer for a few months now, and I've definitely put it through the ringer <laughs> to see what she's capable of, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and more. So in this video, I'm actually going to be going through just the basic specs of this mixer, what she, what these mixers come with, as well as optional accessories, the things that I don't like about this mixer, and what I do like about this mixer, and finally, who I recommend using this mixer. So starting off, let's just do the basic specs, what you get right out of the box. And these are things to consider when looking at a mixer, especially when it comes to making sure that it's gonna fit your space, um, whether it be on the countertop or in a cabinet. Um, the Artiste comes in at 12 inches high, 11 inches wide, and 13 inches deep. It also weighs 15 pounds, comes with a one year warranty on the motor. For those of you who may need to be watching your power for those like off grid, things like that, this takes 120 volts and has a 500 watt motor, which is awesome and we'll get to in a later. She also has a six and a half quart bowl and six different speeds so you can really customize how fast you are mixing or kneading. And last but not least on the bottom, are these awesome little suction feet that work very well to keep the mixer on the counter, which is where we want it. And finally, this baby can handle up to six pounds of dough, which if you're not sure how much that is, that is equivalent to about 34 dozen cookies and of course six one pound bread loaves, which is amazing. She can also go less. You don't have to max it out every time. She is capable of handling less. And as far as what it comes with, not what you see right here, <laughs> but as you can see, it comes with the base. It also comes with the six and a half quart bowl in white, and this is plastic, as well as the lid that has this awesome little thing here to be able to move to add ingredients. Also comes with the double type dough hook. Now this is steel and this gray part is plastic, so it is not a full stainless steel dough hook. And then it also comes with whisk attachments with the metal whip drive here. So how this works, if you don't know, you take your accessories like this and they go in here when using and then onto the drive shaft to use the whips or whatever accessories you have. And I will be showing y'all later what she's capable of. I will be making my simple yeast bread dough um, recipe in here to show you what she does. Now, as far as optional accessories go, there are a lot. Now, the one that I highly recommend you go ahead and get is the Baker's Pack. And the reason is, is because it not only comes with the scrapers here that go in here, but your cookie paddles, which if you like making cookies, you need these cookie paddles. If you use your whips, you're going to break them. <laughs> so I don't recommend that. These are plastic, but they're very thick and hard plastic. Um, these are your cookie paddles and then your cake paddles also go with it as well along with this scraper thing and you just use the metal whip drive that you already have um, and so you can get this mixer where it's a standalone mixer or it does already have Nutramel already provides a bundle where you can get the mixer and the baker pack to go ahead and get it all at once and I do recommend go ahead and getting it all at once because if you're like me, you're gonna end up buying it anyway because you like cookies and you wanna make cookies. Other um, optional accessories to really make this mixer kind of like the only one of the only machines that you need other than your oven 
in your house is it also can come with a large slicer slash shredder so it in essence can take place of a food processor you can have an ice cream maker that comes on here which i actually have it does have a flour sifter which you better not be using if you follow this channel you can get a citrus juicer a spiralizer a hand crank so you can even use this without um, power a meat grinder and for those of you who have already been eh, with the plastic you can get a stainless steel bowl so this can be stainless steel and you can get the full stainless steel dough hook. And all of these optional accessories are of course sold separately, but that is the option. If you want a stainless steel bowl, you can certainly do this. Now, as far as taking care of this model, I did forget that um, the bowl is dishwasher safe as well as the lid, I believe. I don't have a dishwasher, so I haven't tested this yet, um, as well as the lid, but the dough hook, anything with a silver finish like this, like this, and your um your metal whip drive they do recommend washing by hand in order to keep the nice shiny finish but other than that everything else is dishwasher safe all right now my favorite part does this pass the grains and grit test and i will tell you for those who are new i've been milling my wheat for over a decade and trust me i have tried multiple mixers and i know a thing or two because i've seen a thing or two so i can definitely tell you what i like and what I do not like about this mixer. And me personally, I have been trying this out for several months. Let's just start with what I don't like about this mixer. Um, and these are not deal killers, um, to be honest, but it is something to consider and things that I have noticed. Now, the first thing, maybe user error, I don't think so, but just take that with a grain of salt. And the main thing that I've noticed is whenever I am making cookies in here, specifically chocolate chip cookies, I've really only done my chocolate chip cookies in here as well as my oatmeal cookies. Um, and so I'm using the cookie paddles, the metal whip drive, the scraper in here. And I have noticed that the moment I add in the chocolate chips, this metal whip drive kind of comes up off of the drive shaft, which is the drive shaft is what is actually moving this. Um, and I notice it just comes out. Now I can like push it down to hold it on. Um, and I think it's something to do with those chocolate chips. It is hard to go in here. They may not even recommend using it for that. I don't know, but um, I have noticed it does kind of push this up off of the drive shaft. Um, so again, not a deal killer because that's at the end of the recipe anyway. When that happens, I just pull this off. I just continue mixing the chocolate chips in by hand, which is not much at all. Um, and then it's time to bake. So it's at the end, it handles the rest of the cookie dough just fine. And it handles my oatmeal cookies just fine, but something with those chocolate chips. So something to keep in mind is this starts to pop off. Um, there's something to consider. The other thing that I've noticed is on the inside here, I don't know if you can see it, but this little part here that actually attaches to the drive shaft, this is a plastic piece that I find sometimes whenever I pull this up, that it stays it like comes out and sticks to the drive shaft now all that it takes is me just pulling it off the drive shaft popping this back in it's not like it broke it but it does come out um so again something to consider because one time i looked down and wondered oh no i've lost this plastic piece what happened and i realized it was still on the drive shaft so just know that it's, if you notice it missing be sure to check your drive shaft because it might be there. But again, it's not broken. You just pull it out, pop it in. It's not a big deal, but it is something different with this mixer. Now the things that I like, and there's actually many things that I do like about this mixer. First of all, I love the compact, sleek design that it has. As far as mixer goes, this does not take as much counter space as other mixers that I have. Um, and so, and it's also not crazy. I mean, it is a little bit tall, but it fits under my cabinets just fine. So something to consider, especially if you have a smaller space, this is actually gonna take up less of a footprint. Same thing with cabinet space, gonna take up less of a footprint um, as far as the square base goes. And she's just a beautiful mixer. I don't mind her being out on my counter. She looks good. Um, she's just a good design. My favorite thing though has to be the lid. I know that sounds weird, but it is so nice to just be able to bloop, like this close it up real fast. So whenever I have to add in things really fast, especially flour, which if I don't put the lid back on, it's gonna go poof. 
This allows me to do it super fast. So in, close. And I can add things very, very fast, ease of doing this instead of like fiddling with the whole, with the lid, pulling it up, and then having to like, you know, make sure it's lined up and put back in. So this part is genius design on Nutrimill's part. I love, I love this. It's so nice too. I may wear it out, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't yet. But that is wonderful, especially when you're having to add in those extra ingredients. I also love that it is user-friendly. If you're used to mixers, there's really not a learning curve to it. It's just out of the box. Here you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's not really anything to learn. And of course, what I love about this mixer, most of all, is um, the dough hook. With it being a double dough hook, these type of mixers just need the bread dough so much better than your typical single dough hook like you see in a stand mixer. Um, so I find that it just handles it so much better. Speaking of stand mixers, another reason I love this is because it has not only the capacity um, for three of my loaves, so my simple yeast bread loaf recipe almost maxes it out. That's about five and a half to 5.75 pounds of dough. This contain up to six pounds of dough. So we're almost maxed out on the dough, but I can make three loaves at a time in here. Try doing that in your stand mixer. That ain't gonna happen. But also the motor is powerful enough where I'm not going to burn out the motor using the heavy, heavy dough that we use when it comes with freshly milled wheat. So I know that I can safely and comfortably throw in that dough in here with the freshly milled wheat and this mixer is gonna be able to take it because it's such a powerful motor. Your typical stand mixer has anywhere from two to 350 watt motor. This baby is a 500 watt motor, which is awesome. And she can definitely handle it. Now, who I would recommend this mixer to? First of all, it would be anyone who is using freshly milled wheat. If you are using freshly milled wheat and you want a mixer, like I said, you need one with that powerful motor, but also the capacity. I mean, if you're going to be baking bread, might as well bake more than one loaf or one thing at a time. Let's save some time, y'all. So I do love that. Um, so if you're using fresh milled wheat, you're gonna want a better mixer capable of handling it and not gonna burn out your motor. The second person I would recommend this to is if you bake more than one loaf at a time. <laughs> if you go through a lot or you like to bake things ahead of time, um, she's gonna be able to do that for you and save you time in the kitchen. And finally, I recommend this person who ultimately, you just want a good mixer. It, it's just, it's a good mixer and it's definitely better than your typical stand mixers. So does it have the grains and grit seal of approval? Yes, I do recommend this mixer. Um, and I do have a link for this mixer below both the single mixer and then if you wanted this with the baker's pack. But usually underneath it, if you're wanting any of the accessories, they usually have that below as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed my review of Miss Annie here. I know many of y'all have been asking for this. If you have any other questions, just ask me in the comments below and I will answer. For those of you who get an artiste or maybe have one and you have named her or him, let me know. Let us know your names. If you name your grain mills, your mixers, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, hopefully this was a helpful video for y'all. Um, as always, y'all have a wonderful day and I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.